typically to get a huge cheer, all you have to say is that, for example, Natalie Plowman is a high school teacher, right? I mean, that's enough right there. But that's not enough for Natalie. She's adding on yet another major cheer point. Raising a puppy. I know, it's crazy. It's like, oh my God, there's too much frosting on this cake. But it's going to be amazing. She has been back there this entire show awaiting this. And just a touch nervous, it's weird. She t she's in front of, she's shaping the minds of our future. And she, she's a, just a touch nervous about this big uh, crowd tonight. So be extra super gentle and awesome for your next speaker, Natalie Plowman. So tonight, I'm not going to talk to you about any of my professional endeavors, like what it's like to live overseas, or how to teach English to teenagers, or how to take a good photograph. No, tonight I'm going to talk to you about what it's like when you have a puppy in your house, and what to expect. There are many things for you to consider when you're picking out your first puppy, things like breed, color, size, and lifestyle habits. For example, if you're not a very active person, you shouldn't choose a lab. Another thing for you to remember is you can't just ever go looking at puppies or you'll end up taking home the first one you see. <laughs> puppies will keep you up at all hours of the night, 2 a.m., 4 a.m., but the good news is they wear themselves out quickly and easily, so there's plenty of built-in nap time during the day. Whenever he's sleeping, you should also be sleeping. Puppies are clumsy. Expect many mishaps and accidents. They're still learning how to walk. They're kind of like toddlers learning how to walk. They're unsteady on their feet. They're unsure of how to use their legs. And they'll want to stick everything in their mouths. Be prepared to be patient. Your life will slowly be unraveled one toilet paper square at a time. Expensive items will be destroyed. Whether it's a $60 hair straightener or a $90 MacBook charger, you'll have to learn how to let go of your love of material things. One Monday morning while I was getting ready for work, it was my key fob. The next Monday morning, it was my TV remote. And the following Monday morning, it was my $450 Kate Spade glasses. So he's now in the kennel while I'm getting ready for work in the morning. It's important to socialize your pup, especially in his first six months. Um, but once he makes his first best friend, he will want to make best friends with everyone you see on the hiking trail, the walking path. Everyone's his new best friend, especially the people that you don't want to be best friends with. Everything is new and exciting through the eyes of a puppy. Every new pond to jump into, every meal that he eats is exciting. You can watch him run around in the backyard for hours chasing butterflies, chasing cotton from cottonwood trees, and that expression never grows old. It's important to introduce your pup to water when he's young, even if he's not a water dog, but the problem is you might have an issue getting him out of the water when he really loves the water, and you'll find yourself doing ridiculous things like pulling him out of the flooding Poudre River. Um, your little adventure will need you to take care of him. There will be plenty of vet appointments that are expensive and frequent in the first six months. Even when he tries to sabotage his neutering appointment by eating a dozen banana chocolate chip muffins, you'll still have to deal with those appointments. Your pup thinks he's a human. He'll sit like a human. He'll try to eat like a human. He thinks he deserves a spot next to you on the couch like a human. But sometimes he is the best kind of human to talk to. You'll have to talk to him like he's a human. Your puppy will expand your horizons. Together, you will face new challenges and summit new beginnings. You'll have to start off with smaller walks and hikes and work your way up to bigger ones. But your pup will make you want to get out and explore. Believe me, his energy level will be endless. I have seen my puppy eat hair ties, headbands, underwear, socks, styrofoam takeout boxes, a goose swing, dead fish, dead mice, a dead songbird that he swallowed whole. Um, Moths, spiders, just to name a few. But the good news is you now have a companion that you can train to do the things you love to do. I used to run by myself after school every day, but now that he's turned one and I can safely run with him, I can take him and the good news is he's usually pretty tired afterward. Something that no one told me about getting a puppy is your maternal or paternal instincts kick in even if you didn't think you had them and you'll find yourself doing these stupid things without thinking about them like tackling a bulldog that attacks your puppy or pulling him out of ice that he's fallen through in the winter. <laughs> your puppy is hilarious. He will make you laugh without fail. He has his own personality and his own character traits 
and watching him come into his own is entertaining, to say the least. A quote from one of my favorite movies is, never lose your childish enthusiasm. With a puppy around, you will never lose your childish enthusiasm. Watching everything new through his eyes, the first time it hails, the first time it snows, the first time it rains, it's always entertaining. Your puppy's favorite game will probably not be your favorite game. Leo's favorite game is keep away or come catch me. Just last week we were at the dog park and he took a man's shoe out into the middle of the pond and sat there dunking it up and down while I yelled at him. But the most important thing that I've learned as a puppy parent is that now you have a companion to trust and rely on. And no matter what mistakes you make or he makes, you have this companion there for you at the end of the day. I apologize for the last 15 seconds because they have not been rehearsed yet, but I wanted to introduce you to someone. Leo, come here. Come here. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. <laughs>